So we've got this uh, long right hand bend here, got a lay by on the inside, just watching that. Always cars coming the other way, you just might want to pull into it. Looking for the view, got the view, accelerating through the corner. Coming to this corner, it's quite a blind sharp bend. Here we go, got the view now. Always positioning for view at the moment, because I've got good open views. Oh, a vehicle on the offside there, not going anywhere, nobody in it. Well, my view is fairly limited around these corners, so I'm uh, going at a speed which I know that I can stop. If anything does pop up, and checking my mirrors. Got a vehicle behind me, got a nice open road here, national speed limit, 60 miles an hour. Looking ahead, coming into a built up area. You can already see the, uh, the signs for the speed limit, so I'm checking my mirrors, see what's going on behind me. It's straight bit of road, somebody might uh, look to get an overtake on me going in. 40 mile an hour, I'm showing a good long brake light just to give the information to the vehicle behind that I've actually slowed down for the speed limit. Selecting the gear, which is responsive. Just watching as we go over this little bridge here, something coming the other way. Got pedestrians on the near side, dogs on the lead. As long as it's not one of those pulley ones. Okay, just keep checking my mirrors. There, uh, it says 40 mile an hour, but that is the limit. It doesn't mean to say we have to do it. I'm right to the conditions that are in front of me. That vehicle emerging from the offside there, obviously seeing me. I just covered my brakes and moved my position slightly. Okay, so we've got oncoming vehicles. There's a van, there's a vehicle that's fairly close behind the van, as I can see underneath it. So I'm just going to move away a little bit, just in case they're uh, looking to pull out for an overtake. So I can see the national speed limit, the car behind me is fairly close to me, so I'm going to anticipate they might want to try and get a drag, but the double white line should prevent that. So a quick mirror check, shoulder check, and away we go. 60 mile an hour, getting up briskly to it. Nice open road, there's a uh, vehicle parked on the uh, near side ahead of me, just checking my mirrors. Just seeing if there's any activity from the vehicle, whether there's any lights on or anything like that. In fact, it uh, looks fairly stationary there. And uh, we've got this view, limited view over the brow of the bank. Got the view back now. Road's going to the right. Check your mirrors. Got the view, shortening the corner. Safe to do so. And uh, we've got a sign here that says slippy road conditions and uh, I'm going to uh, just uh, ease off a little bit, it's there for a reason. It's easy because it's underneath the trees. It might just be a little bit of damp there. Just pulled away from that car a little bit as he was coming. Looking ahead, the road seems to open out, see where the telegraph poles go. And it's going to go slightly to the right. Just taking my position for view and safety. Now we're going looking ahead again, I can see the telegraph poles going down to the left. Sign there for sheep, so again, be mindful of that, for the cattle. Just uh, roads there coming in from left and right, so I just eased off a little bit. Just maintaining my progress, we've got a corner coming up now, going to the right. I'm easing over to the left. Just to get my view, there's a dead badger in the road there. Got my view, there's a road coming in from the left, looking down, having a look, see if anything might emerge, just setting myself up for this right bend now, getting the view, position for view and safety, got my view, away I come, looking down here, we've got gateways coming in from the uh, offside, and there's a sign there, it's quite fair, even saying that there's a corner going to the left, look, trying to look through the corner, just moving away from the white line a bit, Road just breaking up a little bit there. Again, checking mirrors, looking ahead, oncoming vehicles, just keeping my distance away from them, not going to the white line. We've got houses on the near side here. If there's a house, it's going to be a driveway, if it's a drive, it's going to be a car. So always see with caution, be aware. And that's uh, what you get when these cars, he just uh, overtook there on the white line. Just pushing through. Nearly took my leg off. You know, and it's not as if he's going any quicker than me. I 
that just shows how fast things can happen. I checked my mirrors and he was stationary behind me and I was just making observations to the houses to the left before I knew it. He was in my blind spot coming down the outside of me. Uh, so like I say, it's not as if he's making more progress than me. Not really sure what his idea was. So anyway. Carry on riding, we've got these uh, chevrons coming up, roads going to the right, then to the left. Just backing off a little bit, let these vehicles uh, make move around the corner. And uh, everything's slowing down, I'm not sure uh, why really, not too much of a serious bend. Again looking ahead, bends, it's got signs for uh, bends going to the right and then to the left, checking my mirrors. going to be interesting. And uh, we've got the speed restriction coming up for 30 miles an hour. Here are Landwerk and Crinion. There's a couple of petrol stops here, so if you wanted to refuel, 